All right. Let's get this party started. Make sure we're nice and focused here. All right, we got the old Cindy. Or Ceviche, Ceviche, whatever you want to call it. What is this called? Oh man, I don't even know how to pronounce it. C I V I. C V. Probably, whatever. Cut. Oh yeah, okay, so this is. A knife that I got on DLT. What's up, DLT? I love DLT. I always have really good prices compared to the other. People. Like whenever you get a GEC or something from some of the other companies, they really jack the prices up. But not these guys. So, man, the lighting in here is terrible. That's fine. It is what it is. I'm going to try something. Yeah, I can't fix it right now. Okay. I'm going to take a big tube. That's cool. Box. What do we got here? We got a receipt. This guy was 117 117. Yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah. 117. I'll take that. They gave me a cool sticker. I love their stickers. They have really cool stickers, by the way. Good job, DLT Trading. Man, this is focusing. I can't tell because of the way the camera is right now. Anyway, back to this knife. I've been using this a lot. Because it's so small, and I love the... I'm going to do a long-term review on it, but it doesn't have any thumb studs or anything annoying, so it's super easy to sharpen. It's got a deep carry pocket clip. It's real small. I've been cutting, like, radiator hoses and apples, and I don't know. Like, look how dirty that my car is. You can't see it. I need better light. I, I have to go get a different light source. Put that right there. I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again. This is the old uh, Olight Marauder 2. See how well it does. Is that better? I can't tell. Okay. All right, I'm back. Let's get this review done. Well, it's just an unboxing. Anyway, this is a great knife. And for the money, it's awesome. Okay. Tube. I've never gotten a big tube knife from GEC. I only have three GECs before this. So there's the little ones like this. And I thought this one was a big one. Not compared to this. So this is a fixed blade and carbon steel. So I'm very excited about this. I have a lot of fixed blades, but they're either too big or they're stainless, which is okay. To be honest with you, stainless isn't bad when you're in the field because stuff gets kind of gross. All right, carbon steel, classic outing knives. I like that. Great Eastern Cutlery. Usually the Great Eastern Cutlery, cutlery branded stuff is stainless. So this says Daybreak Camo. That's what's up. Okay. Normally you'll see that old style wax paper. Oh my goodness, that is really cool. I'm gonna try to focus here. That is really neat. Wow. Man, this smells good. It smells like a nice pair of shoes. You can tell it's hand sewn or at least a person was running the machine. I love this design. This is great. It's actually not super thick. It has acorns stamped into it. That's really cool. All right. Without further ado. 
Oh, wow. Okay, nothing else in the tube. No buttons or nothing. Look at this guy, man. Wow. It's got an acorn. I guess I kind of just didn't remember it having that when I ordered it. This is neat. G-E-C knives. Man, she's pretty. That is pretty. I, I don't even, I'll, I guarantee this doesn't look as good in, on camera as it does in person. This is fantastic. It's actually pretty thick. A lot thicker than I thought it would be. Oh, let's measure its thickness here. like it's almost three millimeters thick and it's about 330 seconds if I'm reading that right so this is cool man it's actually not really big but it's not really small either <laughs> let's compare it to something else that you guys would know this is my Big old Saudi bull buster. It's a little bit bigger blade. Actually, smaller handle, but quite a bit. Well, it looks like it's about the same thickness, actually. It's beautiful. I wonder if they made it out of the same stock. I like it. It's not heavy at all. This is like a, oh man, I can't wait to cut some apples with this and get some patina going. This is really cool. Blade looks like it is about, let's see if I can measure this right here. About four and a half inch long blade. Not too shabby. Well, this is just an unboxing, so. Man, that is, it's not heavy, but it's definitely solid. So, what a beautiful knife. Is it sharp at all? They're usually not. Actually. Okay, I lied. It's actually pretty sharp. It might just need to get stropped. We'll see. A little shave hair. Mm, not really. It will a little bit, but. It's actually finished pretty well. Man, that is a pretty color. Daybreak camo. So I carry a knife, I carry a fixed blade to work with me in my backpack every day. Wow, that is nice. Man, that is fantastic. I carry, uh, you know, my backpack here. This is the one I carry every day to work. This is a great knife, okay, but it's stainless. It kind of irritates me because all the work I do, it still looks the same. And it's a pain in the butt to sharpen. We'll see how this does. This is smaller blade, but this is a good feeling knife. This is a case. This one feels a lot lighter, but it actually feels pretty cool. So we'll see. I think it's Micarta or G10 maybe. I don't know. Sure is pretty. It says Great Eastern Cutlery, Titusville, Pennsylvania. Carbon. H4123. Actually, it is pretty sharp. I think it just needs uh, maybe a little bit of a light strop. So we'll see how it does. Yeah, that's not going to work. But anyway... All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you're thinking about getting one of these, I highly recommend it. What's something else I can bump it up against? 
Here's my Le Leatherman Juice S2. That's not a good comparison. But for size, it's a tiny little guy. It's like a little hobbit knife. Here are a couple other comparisons. There's the 91, I think, uh, millimeter Swiss Army knife. A couple of those. There's this guy. Yeah, so this might actually be a pretty good um, carry for daily because it's so small. Might might actually be able to carry this in the person. It just doesn't stick out very much at all. So I'll slap this guy in the sheath. Got to get the sheath looking like it's been carried. Right now, it just looks new. Yeah, so if you can see. The belt loop actually keeps the some of the knife above the belt, so that's cool. So only this much is gonna stick down. We'll see how it carries, but anyway, thanks for watching, y'all, and uh, we'll catch you again next time. Won't be able to see that for very long. Practical knives. That is one thing I love about GEC knives, man. Is they are really good performers. Like. For some reason, I don't know why, this is the one I carry the most. They just work really well. This one has half stops. It stays really sharp. I use this one a lot. It's it's called a Whittler. Some kind of Whittler. It's a number 29. But if you need to work on some wood for whatever reason, like I was carving a handle for a knife that I was making... I was rehandling an old cold steel trail master, but like shaving the wood and stuff to try to get it to mount, get the hole cut for it. I was using this a lot. Look at that big old long awl. The one of my, well, anyway, yeah, the one, man, which I just changed clothes because I'm home for lunch. The one I was carrying today, of course, I'm not going to be able to find it. Anyway, I don't know what it is. It sucks. Anyway, yeah. It's a great knife. Look them up. These are actually don't have quite the crazy weight that the folders have. I don't know why these folders are so hard to find. They're so hard to get, but I'm going to get this guy on the belt and get, get some patina on it. We'll see you guys again later. Thanks for watching.